fact is, I've been coming to Dorset for donkey's years bird watching. But every time I come here, I read little brochures about the wildlife. And Dorset says, brilliant place for reptiles. Well, I'm here to tell you that in all the time I've been coming here, I have never, ever seen a reptile. Which um, probably means I don't know where to look, because the truth is, every single British reptile is somewhere in Dorset. Uh, whatever they call them, uh, reptologists, is it? Probably not. Doesn't matter. They call them um, the big six. Actually, it's the fairly small, slithery six. Let's see. It's uh, grass snake, smooth snake, adder. All heard of that one. There's a slow worm, which is in fact um, a lizard. And there are two real lizards. There's common lizard, which I'm willing to bet is not common at all. And, aha, this is where we come to where I am at this very moment. There is sand lizard. And what am I standing on? Sand. But uh, it's not going to be out there on the beach. It's going to be somewhere up in those dunes. by the way. Patience, patience. That's why I've never seen them before. Oh, now this is a lizard track. You can see that line down the middle made by the tail and little footsteps on the side there. It's like a sort of uh, stitching on operation scar. Well, that proves there's lizards here somewhere. All I've got to do is find them. Normally with wildlife you have to get up first light, you know, to see anything. But in fact, the lizards don't get up at first light. They uh, wait till the sun's up and then they come out to take their energy from the sun. So, there. There it is. Sunning itself right out in the open. <laughs> Amazing view. So, not so much a sand lizard as a, a fence lizard, this one. This is obviously a male, it's quite bright green. It's smaller than I expected, to be honest. I just didn't know, until you see something, you've no idea what you're looking for. The first of the big six. Big six, it's about four inches. It's not even that, I don't think. I don't care, I've seen it. Listen to this. Common lizard, pattern, very variable. Sand lizard, colouring, very variable. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, public humiliation this. I'm sorry, but I think what I have just seen was not a sand lizard, it was a common lizard. Never mind, that's still one down and five to go. And look at it this way, if I didn't have the book with me, I'd have gone home thinking I'd seen a sand lizard. Now I know I haven't, so I'm going to try again. over there because there's a sort of sheltered hollow because it's actually getting too hot for them would you believe they don't come out until it's reasonably hot and then fussy little blighters they say oh no it's too hot we're going in again oh if i was a lizard this is where i'd be it's nice and sheltered i think i've got one. Oh my goodness now that is green, quite clearly. It's a male, it's a sand lizard. It's like they say, when you see it, you know it. I saw that other one, I could have sworn there was green along the side, but that was just a little tinge. But this is like bright emerald, isn't it? What a colour. And yet, what amazing camouflage. Take your binoculars off and <laughs> I can't see it. It is exciting when you see something you've never seen before. Oh, he's going, he's going. 